Okay, um, sometimes you need to pass an encrypted password or decrypt that password for use in a script. Uh, earlier this week, that came up when we were installing SQL Server, and uh, there was um, some discussion about passing the password for the service accounts that were going to be passing the passwords, because one for the agent account and one for the database engine um, in our discussion earlier this week. Uh, to the installation of SQL Server um, and how do you securely pass those along. So one way to do that, do that is by using a key file because if you try to encrypt uh, passwords uh, using PowerShell by default, it will be very, very secure. It will be secured to the computer and the user um, that created them. So if you try to read the file um, using a different user, uh, and or different computer, you won't be able to read them. Uh, this method allows you to get past that limitation by using a key. Again, it is only as safe as the location of the key file and the password file that you create. If you really want to get into the to those, you could put them in an encrypted container um, or use a, another method uh, to store that uh, the keys. But um, this method uh, allows you to um, use uh, the passwords uh, in scripts. Um, again, just depending on where you store your, your password and key file. So first thing is to go ahead and create um, a variable. In this case, uh, I'm just going to create a, a key file in the temp directory. Got to make sure that this uh, directory actually exists. Otherwise, uh, this will fail. So I already created a directory called keys um, in my temp folder. We're going to use a 32-byte file. And um, we're going to go ahead and generate some random bytes. And then we're going to write that to a file. OK, that file's been written. Uh, if you wanted to see what that file looked like, OK. Now we're going to create the password file. Again, we're just assigning a string. And we're going to assign a variable to that key file. I guess we already did that up above, so we're doing that a second time here. Um, getting the content from that file. And then we're assigning the password. Uh, this is important. Make sure you use single quotes here so that uh, PowerShell doesn't try to uh, parse something like a dollar sign um, or a parenthesis as uh, part of an expression so that this way it'll be passed as a literal. And then we're going to write that file out. So now we've got that password file. If I wanted to take a look at the password file itself. You can see that it's encrypted. So once these files are created, you don't need to create them again unless you desire to create a new key file and password file. So I'm going to comment that out. So in your future script, um, you would reference a, a user account. Um, and you don't, you don't have to have a, uh, a user account uh, that has to do with the password. Um, but if you're going to pass the credential as an object securely to other commandlets, then you do. If all you care about is the password, then it really wouldn't matter what you put in here. So we'll go ahead and assign that variable, assign the password file variable, assign the key file variable, um, assign the key, and then here's where the magic happens right here, where the password file is uh, decrypted using the key on line 24. So go ahead and do that. At this point, we've got a PS credential object um, that has been assigned to the variable my credential. And let me go ahead and just clear the screen here for a second. If we wanted to look at the uh, methods and properties of that object, we could do that here. You can see that uh, we've got a few different method methods uh, by passing uh, those methods or accessing the properties we can do different things. So if I wanted to get the username, that's right there in plain text. If I try to access the password here, 
that doesn't show me the password because it's still secured. Now, uh, again, some commandlets are just fine with that, and you can pass that credential or the or the password uh, securely just like that. If that's the case, um, then line 25 would work just fine for you. However, if you're passing um, these, uh, if you're passing the password to a exe file, for example, you're running setup.exe and you want to pass the password there, um, you're going to need to use the method on line 26 to decrypt it. So this is what that's going to look like. Let me clear the screen down here. And there it is. There's the password, and uh, it's been decrypted for use. You could also take this and assign it to uh, yet another variable, if you like. Um, so you could have something like this. And use it that way. Sometimes you'll need to um, dereference the, the variable in a script like that as well. So either one will work. Um, this one's a little easier to read. Sometimes you need to do this as well. And that is how you pass secure credentials to scripts and setups.